about six months ago, I decided to do a little language experiment. I decided to try to learn French entirely through comprehensible input. And first, for those of you who don't know, comprehensible input is kind of the hot thing right now in language learning, and it has been for a little while, but it's still under debate as to if it is indeed the most effective way to learn a language. Not only that, but some would go as far as to say that it is the only effective way to learn a language. And I kind of fall somewhere in between that right now, but I had to test it for myself at least to get an idea of if I was wasting my time studying or if I was wasting my time only listening. So how did I do this experiment? First, let's get a definition of what comprehensible input is. And then I'll give you some caveats as to what I made different from my own experience. Comprehensible input is language input that can be understood by learners even when they don't understand all the words and structures in a given text or bit of audio they are listening to. It doesn't have to be 100% comprehensible. It has to be mostly understandable with the means to gain a greater level of comprehension by looking up words, reading again, or listening again, according to Stephen Krashen's theory of language acquisition. Okay, so, oh, by the way, I was reading off my phone. I don't know why I'm fronting, pretending I'm reading at, pretending I took notes or something. So based off of that, my language consisted nearly entirely of reading graded readers, watching YouTube videos entirely in French, watching Netflix entirely in French, and did not consist of any purposeful grammar study. There is a caveat though. I did let myself chat with a few native speakers on tandem. I can't help it, it's just fun. So I decided not to deprive myself of that experience. I find it to be like beneficial in ways outside of learning the language as well, just chatting and making friends. It's pretty cool. Now, how can I measure if this method worked or not? Now we have a more traditional answer to answer that question. According to the US Department of State, category one languages, which are culturally similar and linguistically similar to English, take between 600 and 750 hours of classroom time to reach fluency in the language. So I can compare the amount of time that I spent doing comprehensible input with that. And since French in particular takes 30 weeks, whereas the rest of the languages in the same category take 24 weeks, I'm gonna assume that 750 is applied specifically to French. Now, how much time did I spend compared to that listening to French? I spent 108 hours receiving comprehensible input in French. All input, very, very, very minimal, a negligible amount of practice speaking, no purposeful grammar study. So let's compare my results. To show you proof of what I did, I'm gonna show you a clip of me speaking French and it is supposed to be a very off the cuff um, clip of me speaking with no preparation or no script or anything like that. Um, and a couple caveats before I show you that is that there are tons of mistakes in it. And the second caveat is that the subtitles are going to be what I meant to say in English, not what um, I actually said. And I do, I'm doing it that way just to reiterate that there are mistakes in them. There are some mistakes that I know I made in there and there are some mistakes that I couldn't even pick out if I wanted to because I just don't know that I made them because full disclosure, the clip you're about to see is not perfect or even close to it. Bonjour, je fais un, un vidéo pour montrer mon progrès uh, dans le langue français. Uh, je fais un expériment uh, pour dire si j'ai pu uh, par si j'ai pu parler le langue uh, sans étudier uh, les grammaires um, depuis des inputs compréhensibles uh, pour sans 
Hier, j'ai com commencé à apprendre français depuis euh, 8 mois. J'ai vu faire cette vidéo euh, pour donner vu en, pour vous donner une en, en idée de mi, mon niveau en, en, en français. Um, c'est pas parfait, mais c'est seulement un expériment. If you're French or you learned French yourself, I'm sorry you had to witness that. It was bad, I know. But I'm still calling this a win because think about the amount of effort that I put in to, to achieve that result. 108 hours over the course of eight months, I'm able to produce very basic thoughts and get my point across. Hopefully it will be enough when I go to France tomorrow. That, more about that later though. So after watching that train wreck, you might think that this experiment has been a total failure and that the answer is that comprehensible input does not work. I feel very differently, actually. I think this experiment has been a huge success because the ratio of effort to results that I got doing this is so much better than the amount of effort that I had to put in purposefully learning uh, Spanish or purposefully studying grammar in Vietnamese, which I'm also constantly trying to learn. So that tells me that this method of learning is actually very good for, first of all, everybody, but a specific type of learner that doesn't have a lot of time to learn a language. A lot of people think like, oh, I have so many responsibilities, I don't have time to learn a language. Um, and that is true in the traditional sense of learning a language where you sit down and study and take a class or whatever. But here you now have this option available to you. So you just use comprehensible input. Don't stress yourself out. Don't worry about misunderstanding a sentence. Just naturally let the language come to you. And you might achieve great results with very little effort. However, this result is likewise not for everybody. People who need to learn the language quickly, people need to, who need to learn the language for um, their livelihoods or for work or whatever it may be. Or if you need to learn survival phrases for travel, um, this method might not be for you. But at the end of the day, if you have the time, um, not day to day, but the time through the course of months or years, I highly recommend giving this a shot, especially because I achieved pretty good results after 108 hours, which is only like a seventh of what the State Department recommends for achieving fluency in a language. Now the last thing that I wanna say is I wanna point out the weaknesses in my little experiment. First of all, this is very anecdotal. I'm one person. Second, I have background learning Spanish and some Italian to begin with. That's a huge advantage when learning French. And finally, I only got about 100 hours of comprehensible input. That is only one seventh of the 750 hours that the US State Department recommends to achieve fluency. You cannot compare these two methods. What would be a better experiment somewhere down the line would be one person who has done comprehensible input for 750 hours, genuinely, and one person who has done 750 classroom hours. Comparing those results would be a lot more meaningful. However, this is a very preliminary little mini study that I did for myself um, and I figured I would share the results because I'm actually quite proud of how well it seems to have worked. So to wrap up, I think that this little experiment has only shown positive things, in my opinion. Comprehensible input is a great way to relax and enjoy the language while still learning and making great progress along the way. However, of course, it has weaknesses, like I mentioned, where it longitudinally takes a very long time, months to years to finally kick in. Whereas if you do purposeful study, you can start learning words, phrases, and survival phrases right off the bat. I highly recommend giving it a shot. And if you're still here, I wanted to mention that I am currently packing for an actual trip to France uh, where I will be getting one month of classroom study in French. And I will see how much farther that experience with classroom study takes my level in French. And I'm super excited to, 
um, see where classroom study takes me after learning on my own for the past eight months. So we'll see how that goes. Bye.